we want to simplify the given expression, we have the fraction 2n over 5 raised to the fourth. Whenever we have a fraction raised to a power, we raise the numerator and denominator to that power. We can also think of this as an extension of the power to power exponent rule shown here, where if we have a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n, this is equal to a raised to the power of m times n. So if we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. So looking back at our example, notice how the numerator is 2n, which is really 2 to the first times n to the first, and the denominator of 5 is really just 5 to the first. So because we have powers to powers, we would multiply the exponents. So on the numerator, we'd have 2 raised to the power of 1 times 4, or 2 to the fourth, and then we'd have n raised to the power of 1 times 4, or n to the fourth, and the denominator would be five raised to the power of one times four, or five to the fourth. Now we want to simplify two to the fourth and five to the fourth. Two to the fourth is equal to two times two times two times two, which equals 16. So the numerator is 16n to the fourth. And now the denominator is five to the fourth, which equals five times five times five times five, which equals 625. So this simplifies to 16n to the fourth, divided by 625. Now I also want to show this another way. If we begin with 2n over 5 raised to the fourth, as long as you know what it means when we have something raised to a power, we can expand this and then multiply. So because we have 2n over 5 raised to the fourth, we know we have four factors of 2n over 5. So we'd have 2n over 5 times 2n over 5 times 2n over 5 times 2n over 5. And now to multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So 2n times 2n times 2n times 2n would be 16n to the fourth, and five times five times five times five equals 625. So there's more than one way to simplify this expression, but the quicker way would be this first approach. But again, the most important thing is that we get the correct simplified expression. I hope you found this helpful.